Norma Gómez shows the only pictures she has of her brother Eduardo Gómez. He was a conscript during the war in the Malvinas Falklands Islands in 1982. She says that the last time she had any news of her brother was when he was in the front line. We started to try to find out what had happened to him until we got a call from the military where they said that if we didn't stop searching for him, they would kill us too. Norma believes her brother is buried here, in the Falklands Islands, where he supposedly died in combat. Over 230 Argentine soldiers were laid to rest at the Darwin Cemetery. Half of the graves here have a legend reading an Argentine soldier only known by God. Now, Argentina's government has announced it will look into identifying the remains, but it will need permission from the British government before it can proceed. Luis de Fondebrider is an expert in this field. He has helped in the process of finding those who were killed during Argentina's military dictatorship. This is a humanitarian issue and it's part of the Geneva Conventions. It probably won't be difficult to identify them because there's a list of soldiers who could be buried there. After tests, we can match relatives to the soldiers. Tensions between Argentina and Britain have escalated in the lead up to the anniversary of the war as Argentina continues to claim the islands as its own. 30 years ago, this country was ruled by a military dictatorship that tortured and killed thousands of political opponents. But they weren't the only ones. Veterans say that right after the war, there was an attempt to silence the soldiers and hide abuses committed by their own officers while they were still fighting in the South Atlantic. That's why they insist on digging up the graves over 30 years later. It will also serve to investigate whether human rights abuses were committed by our own military, whether they killed their soldiers, whether they died because of hunger, were tortured or froze to death. For now, all that Norma has is her brother's name on a monument honoring those who were killed in the war. She says finding out what happened to him is the only thing that will allow her to move on. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.